Hey guys, it's Tim. I'm here today at the Trinity River Audubon Center here in Dallas, Texas. So we've been hanging out here for a few days and it's been absolutely great to be able to go on hikes on their awesome trails and check out everything from birds to bugs to the beautiful river. But while we were here, I discovered two great examples of the resilience of nature. First is this land that I'm standing on. This is what the Dallas area used to look like. It was mixed between prairies and forests like this. But as more and more people moved in, it became this beautiful city that we know today. However, this piece of land became an illegal dump site. But thanks to some hardworking people, they wanted to get rid of that. So they took the guy to court and eventually the city remediated the land and turned this into an absolutely beautiful place. And they built this, an award-winning LEED certified Audubon Center. Today, thousands of kids come here every week to get out into nature. Since they brought back the land, it brought back a lot of birds, including this one, the Eastern Bluebird. Once upon a time, these little birds faced a whole bunch of problems, including pesticide use like DDT, invasive species like the European starling and the regular old house cat, but most of all, they had a nesting problem. Naturally, the eastern bluebird would nest in little holes in old growth trees all over the eastern half of the United States. But as more and more people moved in, we cut down those old growth forests and the population of the bluebird steadily went down until some hardworking people stepped in and said, nah, let's make some nest boxes and help these birds out. And eventually their population went right back up. So this might just look like a painting of a bluebird, but to me while I was working on it, it really reminded me just how resilient life is and how things can come back from something really terrible if we just uh, help it out a little bit and if people work together to make it better. That's my ending. Till next time guys. See you later.